now that is a three person limit. Now we're heading home with our lobster. Lobster extra crispy coming right up. Fish. Oh, right there, baby. oh my god, come on. This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. Well, hello, guys. I have made it to a very special guest house with some special gifts. Wow. I am here with Catch em All Fishing, mm -hmm. and I come bearing only the most precious gift of all time. The tastiest roach on the world. <laughs> Look at that thing. We got some fresh Florida spiny lobsters that we got today. Mm. It's been a long day. I've been at it all day. But nonetheless, we got our limit. And now I'm going to have some fun with my friends here. I'm going to cook them a nice little lobster dinner. Check that out. Look at that. Damn, that thing's still kicking. It is. Look at that. So what's really cool about these Florida spiny lobster is that they don't have claws like the big main lobster, like my giant 15 pound pet lobster that we ate together. They don't have claws. They're just spiny as you guys can see right here. Super, super, super spiny. You can actually catch them with your hand barehanded. I don't recommend it because they're very, very active as you guys saw and they're trying to get away from you even though they're not going to make it. <laughs> but anyways guys, I got six. That is the limit you're allowed to have right here. Come check it out. Sorry, I'm just so excited to eat. I've been eating all day. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but um, we got our limit. It's mini season. You're allowed six per day or per person per day. Unless you actually dive up north, you're allowed 12. That's the cool part. They try to make sure that there's not too many people in the Keys. Mm. So they give you an extra six if you dive up here. So I decided to go ahead and dive shallow and get some nice lobsters for my friends. So I have six in total. I got one, two, here's three. Check this one out. There's the three. Sorry for the ice. I'll clean up. Here's the four. And of course, five. Check this out. Look at that. Five spiny lobsters for a beautiful dinner with my friends. Here you go. Check it out. We got one, two, three, four, five, and again, six. Check that out. That looks absolutely amazing. I am so excited. All right guys, so I have my little fillet knife bag. I have all my knives, my scissors, everything here, as well as a special tool that I have specifically for lobster, guys. It's, it's actually not in the bag I like. It's actually right here. Now this is something that was created by this company called The Vein here in Florida. And this helps get the vent from the lobster out of the butt, pretty much the intestinal tract, okay? So you can either have a fancy tool like me, or I can show you something pretty cool, like a little do-it-yourself deveining tool by using the lobster's antenna. Okay, so when it comes to ringing them the do-it-yourself way, you need to get a set of gloves. You can do it without a set of gloves, but they're spiny lobster. You're probably gonna get a spine in your hand. So what I recommend is just getting yourself the same gloves you went ahead and used to catch these lobster, okay? These are simple $10 gloves, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. But if you're into the, f the fancy special diving gloves, you're allowed to do that too. I'm gonna hold this lobster right here, okay? Look at this beautiful lobster. I'm gonna hold it by the head. This is called the carapace. This is where you measure if this lobster is legal. You need to have about four inches. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna hold the tail on one end and the carapace on the other end. And I'm gonna twist just like this so you get nice and juicy. And look at this meat. You're gonna get this nice meat. I don't like to pull a head. I don't like to pull the tail away too fast because sometimes some meat gets stuck in the head. So I like to go nice and slow and you get that extra meat right there. Check that out, there's nothing left inside that head right there. Now, honestly guys, I like to use the head of these lobsters as extra chum bait when I go snapper fishing or honestly even as bait for giant cooperos and even some groupers themselves. But today I'm not gonna be doing any of that. So I'm actually gonna be using one of their antennas. I'm gonna break this antenna right now. So break it off just like so and check it out, okay? This antenna is nice and spiky, okay? What I like to do is break the tip of the antenna, and now I pretty much have another deveiner. Check it out, very similar. Very, very, very similar. And this helps pretty much vent and clean your lobster, okay? So watch, you grab your lobster right here. You put it here in a special place where things come out that don't taste so good. You go down in here and you kind of force it. You can either push, or pull, push inside and twist. Okay, I'm twisting like so. I should have grabbed the vent and it didn't come out because I pushed it out. Okay, it happens and it's okay. Here it is right here. I pushed it out. It should just slip out just like so. Now we have a beautifully cleaned 
lobster tail ready to be put in the oven to taste so good. So all the poop escaped. Yeah. And even good. when you pushed it, it still came out. Yep. So it still worked. 100%. Sweet. So you get you, you don't lose. It'll come out one way or the other. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Yeah. So we're going to put this on ice right here. So if you don't want to use gloves, you can always just grab a simple knife. It doesn't have to be a fillet knife. Just make sure it's nice and sharp. Now you can grab your lobster just like this. You can grab your knife. Grab your knife, push your knife all the way through, and then go in a circle, okay? Gotta make sure to go in a circle, circular motion around that lobster tail. Check it out, I'm gonna turn this lobster around, okay? And you just go and you just poke around in a circular motion. And it should cut out all that extra beautiful tail meat. Look at that, it's already slipping out, and I didn't do anything. I'm not pulling too hard right now, and boom, just like that. We have another lobster tail, very simple, very easy. Now we're hoping that my method with the do-it-yourself deveiner should work. Now again guys, you can push it through, and you're still going to get the intestinal tract, but what I'm trying to do is to show you that if you push it right through again, just like this, right here, just deep enough into the intestinal tract, you turn and turn and turn. These spikes are going to grab the intestinal tract and it should pull it out just like this. Abracadabra, alakazam. We just got people. Oh, my is hand. it, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And then also, you want to just check to make sure that there's no extra, no excess poop or anything like that on the tail meat, because it's pretty much why everyone loves lobster. These lobster tails are very, very highly sought after here in Florida and just across the world. So we're gonna put this one on ice as well. Now, finally, I'm gonna use. My little do it yourself, well, not really do it yourself, but the actual tool that someone created here in Florida. I'm gonna grab another lobster. I think they created that a long time ago, buddy. Yeah, bro. Again, just wanna reiterate if you do not have a tool, you have your little antenna, and you can just do the same thing that this tool was able to do. Just grab a knife again, okay? Cut around. Look at that. Nice and deep, cut all the way around. All the way around. It's a little slower, but slow and steady wins the race. You can still turn a little bit. Okay, you pull out, boom. There's your tail meat. Put this in your cooler that's nearby. Mm -hmm. Grab yourself your vein tool. Jam that thing in there, give it a good twist. Hold on, and oh, boom. Yeah, that guarantees it, huh? Guaranteed, yeah. boom. So, your lobster tails are all clean. Everyone's happy and healthy, you're not eating poop. So guys, let me go ahead and process the remainder of these beautiful lobster, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to be cooking them in the oven. Alright Slayer, so I went ahead and I cut this beautiful lobster tail in half. Yeah. This is how it's supposed to look right here. You see mm -hmm. how this meat is just falling off each edge and corner? You kind of mm -hmm. just maneuver your finger there, and just finger this one out right there. Finger it out right there. Cool. So you have another one to show us? Yeah, right there. Let's see it. Yeah, I got these very strong scissors. I got these Kuda scissors. You can just get in a, a pair of kitchen scissors or shears. And I just went on top, not too deep, and just cut that beautiful shell all the way down. Super quick, super easy, and bam. And watch your fingers. Just like that. Yeah, you don't want to go ahead and have no fingers. Just break that open. Look, it has spots inside yeah, on How cool, meat. right? Yeah, that is cool. How unique. Looks like caterpillar. Yeah. Delicious caterpillar. Yeah, you just cut that all the way through. You grab that meat. Okay. You fold the shell over, lay the lay the meat on top, and now you're a professional chef. Yeah, you really are. That looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. Oh, one more time so we don't have to rewind. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So here, check it out guys. We have this meat, it's nice and loose. I'll put my hand in here. And just wiggle this meat out of the shell. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to taste it. Fold that shell over. Yeah. Lay it right here, and again, guys. Just like that? Nope, it just went all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slippery one. Yeah, it's a slippery one. Just close that shell and make sure that this meat has something to hold itself up on, and just like that, boom. Wow. And you look right here, you can see there's no poop, it's nothing. It's vein, ready to go, just like that. Professional. Professional. I'm a professional now. Professional. Bam! All right, guys, our butter is done. We got two tablespoons of butter. We have... Another butter for another time. We have some garlic. We're gonna add some garlic powder to this. Yes, garlic powder, not curder. <laughs> some garlic powder there. A little bit of lemon, actually, too. 
There you go. And of course, we cannot forget the best of the best. The spicy Danos has to be included in this beautiful recipe. So, we gotta pop that trigger, but also not too much because this is just gonna coat our lobster for now. So I need a little brush on my finger and it's really hot. Ow. But look at that. Mm. Damn good. Lobster extra crispy coming right up. No, we're not frying these guys. No. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour that butter mixture right over. Mm, there we that. go. Oh, get yeah. all of them. Right there. A little bit of this. Spicy Danos. So to add just a little bit right on top at the end. Popping that trigger, nothing too crazy. Right on top, just a little bit. Right there, because we already have Danos inside of our garlic butter mixture. And just like that, we're good to go. Preheated the oven at 400, and it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook these bad boys. So here we go, it's really hot. Oh yeah, slide that thing in. Here we go, it's about to be dang good. Let's go ahead and check on the lobster guys. Yeah, come on. Oh my goodness. That's looking good. A little longer, we want to make sure that shell is nice and red and pink, but that meat is also big, fluffy, and white. And action. Oh, guys, I think it's time based on that noise. Look mm. at those colors, they're looking great. Wow, it's going to be one dang good of a time. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, that's, that's insane. That looks great, that is amazing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me go ahead and pick one. I'll probably grab that one. I'm gonna add a little bit more of some Danos right here, guys. Again, spicy Dan's original spicy. Ow! My arm was on the pot. We'll be all right. So add a little bit on this one because this is the one I want to eat. I'm gonna let everyone else add some Danos for themselves. I'm gonna grab a little fork and knife. Yes, I know what all of Zach's things are. <laughs> this is not a fork and a knife. It's a spoon. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, check it out. We're gonna slice right into that. Oh. Look at that. Perfect. That is perfectly done. Damn good. Hold that up one more time. I know you're hungry. I, I know you're hungry. hungry. It's been a long day. I worked really hard for this lobster, man. Don't move it. Keep okay. it right there for us. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. Didn't even blow on it. <laughs> oh. It's matched like hot food. Wow. That's amazing. Well, Slayers, that's how you do it on the channel right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get yourself some of that Dano spicy. You're missing out. And we'll see you on the next adventure.